What's happening, peeps? Just want to show you my uh, <coughs> my new UV light. <laughs> Interesting, right? Look at the little glow. Hell yeah! That kills any bacteria in the water. Makes it mad clean. The water's already clear, but this should make it even a little more clear. This is the one that does all the all the you know the big load. All those brushes and shit. Oh, you see that thing swim down in the back? Oh, no, I didn't have my camera on it. You see, that's my UV light, man. Look at that shit glowing up. <laughs> Look at this shit. Nice. Duckweed. Big duckweed. My moving media. K1. I was going to do K1, K2, K3. But, uh... I don't know, man. I had a bunch of these in those bio balls. Look at all the snails I got in here. <laughs> the bio balls are at the bottom. Shit load of them. It's about this tall. And, and then you got, well, deep as my hand. Right here, they're up to halfway up. And the rest of the way, I got these. Those ones sink if you let them. These are good. This was from another one of my filters. But that light's badass, man. It's a drop-in kind. You know? It's an 18 watt. So that's gonna... That's gonna really sterilize the water nice. Excuse me. Can you come out of there, please? Come on. Stop trying to climb in the pond. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> I know you need a bath, but damn, girl. Look at my water lettuce. Just kicking ass. I just put that on a couple hours ago, so it's probably it'll even make it this even clearer. I mean, for for this being out in the sun and not green at all and no allergy problems whatsoever, it means that that filter and that and that bog filter is doing its job. <clears throat> Made a cool little cool little bench to sit here. Uh, it's only like twenty. 200 gallon or 2500 gallon huge filter for this little pond <laughs> no it's actually going to be for a, for a bigger pond than this it's going to be I'm, go, I'm coming this way this is temporary believe it or not <laughs> but the next one's going to come almost up to the door I'm going to leave a little bit another like little three feet this way and it's going to go down two feet and it's going to go out, out that way 12 feet same square just like this I don't care if it doesn't look natural I just like watching my fish. And I want to make it above ground because all the stuff from the yard doesn't fly in it. And you don't need uh, um, skimmers or anything. I am going to put a bottom drain though. It's better than having the, the pump in the, in the pond. And it's kind of the same, I guess. But <clears throat> if I can get it up to like, like, like seven or 8,000 gallon, even though that's still considered very small for a koi pond, it, it, it'll be enough because I won't overload it. You know, I've only got four of them in here and, and a bunch of little uh, shibunkins, which actually I started with two. <laughs> and long and behold, look what I got now. <laughs> they won't breed in this pond, though. The other one I had, there was a lot of breeding areas, so they were breeding way too fast. So I put a stop to that. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Jimmy Bugs out.